Chicago has been the home to a number of great athletes, some of whom are remembered in the Chicagoland Sports Hall of Fame in Des Plaines. The original Chicago Sports Hall of Fame was located in Ditka's Restaurant on uh, East Ontario Street in Chicago. And when the restaurant closed, they put all the memorabilia they had into storage, and then there was some trouble paying the storage bill. And George Conner, who played with the Chicago Bears, is a good friend of Father Smith's. And George asked if Father Smith could do something about all the stuff they had. This uh, was originally the summer home of the Archbishop of Chicago, and we had these five rooms, and we decided we would make this the Chicago Land Sports Hall of Fame. In May of 1996, I created the first inventory they had, I think, but there were no records of anything or who had given us what. Uh, and in the following October, we opened this facility here in the campus, in the building we're in today. We have uh, a lot of static displays, uh, memorabilia of athletes, uh, and we have interactive video kiosks. I believe there are 10 of them. Uh, and that consists of four different programs. It's touch screen, you touch the screen, and the, and the uh, uh, screen reacts to your touch. You can pick and select what you want to view. There's a biography of every inductee, and there are over 225 of those. A lot of the things that we have have been donated by people, uh, either the athlete himself, and that happens quite frequently when an athlete is inducted, he'll give us something of theirs. And if you notice in the other room, all the jerseys hanging from the ceiling, like Doug Buffoon's and uh, Mike Ditka's, those are all donated by the athletes themselves. Other things uh, are just given to us off the wall. The statue behind me is of sweetness, Walter Payton, who holds almost every bear record for a running back, I think, that's in existence commissioned by the Wilson Sporting Goods Company and donated to the Chicago Park District, who didn't really have a home for it, didn't know where to put it, and they gave it to Father Smith at Maryville. It's a very good likeness of him. It shows Walter in action, which uh, for those of us who can remember, you know, it's terrific. He was just a piece of work to watch on the football field. He was just terrific. Bobby holds stick. He was the first NHL player to score more than 50 goals in a season. We have the hockey stick he used to score his 51st goal in the season that he broke the record. He's uh, one of many hockey players that's enshrined here. 1954 with the Chicago White Sox, Sherm Lawler had a five-month streak where nobody on the opposing team stole a base. And that's how fast he was, that's how good he was at uh, putting people out. He was a recipient of a Golden Glove Award, and we have that award. The Golden Glove Award is given every year by the Rawlings Corporation, uh, outstanding defensive player. Probably Chuck Evans' putter is my favorite piece. It's probably because I play golf, you know. I wish I had his skills. <laughs> uh, Chick Evans was probably one of the, if not the most famous amateur golfer in the world. Uh, he played on the Walker Cup several times. He played in pro-ams quite frequently. He won a huge number of tournaments uh, and never made a nickel doing it. He was never a professional golfer. He played as an amateur his entire life. And it doesn't look anything like a putter you'll see today. It's, the handle is leather wrapped and it's coming off. It looks like a block of aluminum on a stick. Uh, the requirements for induction into the Chicago Land Sports Hall of Fame are you have to have lived in Chicago, played in Chicago, active in Chicago some way, and it is Chicago land area. It's not restricted to the city of Chicago itself. So a lot of these people lived in the suburbs, were raised in the suburbs. There is no uh, requirement on length of time, either out of the sport, like there are for the Cooperstown or the uh, other halls of fame. But you do have to be out of the sport. It's not based on your fame or your earning power. It's based on what we think your contribution to sport was. I think Ann Burke is a good example of that. She's a judge in uh, Cook County. She started the Special Olympics in the Chicago area. We try to honor people like that for their contribution to sport. You don't necessarily have to be a fam rich and famous athlete to be inducted. There is no admission charge. We're located on the grounds at Maryville Academy in Des Plaines, Illinois. The public is welcome. We'd love to have you come. And to reach the Chicagoland Sports Hall of Fame, call 847-294-1700.